You are a historic class, 2009, because you have been seniors in this historic year. Ain't gonna let nobody, no, turn me round. Ain't gonna let nobody, I'm gonna keep on and talking all the way up to freedom land. One that began with a power outage in the yard and soon became momentous beyond imagining. Oh, turn me round. The year the world became something very different from anything we ever expected. I'm gonna keep on and talking. If we look back at the year when the world shifted, we can remember how we gathered in Tercentenary Theater on that freezing day in October to declare our commitment to fight global warming. We can, with American leadership, galvanize a global commitment to solve the climate crisis. We must do it with this generation. We have everything we need, with the possible exception of political will, but political will is a renewable resource. And I ain't gonna let nobody How so many of you became involved in the presidential campaigns debated their merits and poured into the streets until past midnight after the election. Yes, we can. Change has come to America. How so many of you have volunteered for every kind of public service, from teaching civics in the Cambridge schools to rebuilding churches in Georgia during spring break to combating AIDS in rural Africa. And while we would never have wished for some of the events of this year, at least some of you find silver linings in its clouds. Uncertainty demands new things from us, not just going through the motions in default mode, but improvising our way to new solutions. improvisation, which comes from the Latin not foreseen, is what a liberal arts education has prepared you to do. And what are the arts but rigorously prepared for improvisation? You also know by now that improvisation is collaborative. It requires actors who are confident in the best sense. The world needs good improvisers. President Obama has called this moment in our history a season of renewal and reinvention. It's also an affirmation of just how much education matters, of how much you as educated citizens matter. Remember that improvising in face of change is exactly what your liberal arts education has prepared you to do the opportunity to renew our commitments and remap our lives is a privilege given only to some generations. By virtue of authority delegated to me, and recognizing your high academic achievements. I confer on you the first degree in arts or in science.
and I admit you to the fellowship of educated men and women.